What is up everybody? This is Eric, the one and only Bear Collector. And boy, today I have a very interesting little game. One that really, it, when I got it, I was very curious about. And that particular game is Slider for the Sega Game Gear. Now, this game was released in October of 1991. However, there's other ports in other consoles that came out and it was called Super Squeak. <laughs> yeah, so basically you you play this little furry creature who is ordered by the king to paint the tiles from blue to pink as well as fight off any enemies that you, you uncover along the way. This particular version of the game has 99 levels. However, the other, the other console computer versions have 50. The other difference is that the computer versions, the levels scroll vertically whereas in the Game Gear version... They go horizontally from, from left to right. You are a little guy. You're clearing tiles. So basically the object of the game is you have this big grid of tiles that are all blue. With sort of different tiles. Some that point arrows that point one way. Others that make tiles disappear. Others that defeat enemies in the screen. While using your weapon to dispose of enemies. You also collect special weapons that can kill enemies like shoot in eight different directions, shoot like fire and such. You also collect extra lives while painting the tiles pink. You have to go certain routes. Also you can warp between the areas of the level to get to other places. And the whole object is to clear the stage by turning everything pink. All the specific tiles. Um, this is a very fun game. I didn't know about it until I was looking um, to get some Game Gear games that I've never played before. And one of the things is that I don't really own that many Game Gear games. I think I own about 15 total Game Gear games. And one of the things that struck me very curious about this when I was playing it with the music and everything. It sort of reminded me like I was playing a Sega Master System game. Very, It, it was like listening to the music and, and the gameplay. Felt a lot like I was playing a Sega Master System game rather than a Game Gear game. I don't know, for those of you who are... Sorry to explain it that way, but for those of you who own a Game Gear and played a lot of Game Gear games and Sega Master System games, you feel free to comment below if you know what I mean. It's just kind of like the gameplay. I know the Game Gear... I consider the Game Gear like a, like a portable Sega Master System of some sort um, that came out. Because of that, some of the games are very similar to that. But this one really, really felt like it could have been port. This game could have ported to the Sega Master System. But I didn't see anything while researching about that. But anyways, has a password save feature um, for each level. And you have some continues. If you lose, if you touch an enemy, you lose. So yeah, so it's a rather fun little puzzle game. I really enjoyed it. Um, I really recommend you guys checking it out. It, it's one of those games that you have a lot of fun playing it. After playing it for a little bit, you get tired. You want to put it down, which I guess the password feature comes in handy. You can put it down, take a break, and then come back to it again. But it's very addictive and it's very fun. Um, I'll be able to breaks because sometimes you get it gets tedious. Uh, I know that when doing the gameplay of the game, I made it to 10 levels. And I just wanted to take a break from it because it gets really... Um, nail biting if I can say but it's fun like as far as like going through the little areas but I, you know maybe it's just me but it's a fun little puzzle game give it a shot you guys won't be disappointed not a very expensive game as of the making of this video I I apologize I didn't really check it I know the last time when I bought it I didn't I only spent a couple of bucks on it so it, it's worth it anyways this has been Eric the one and only bear collector I'll see you guys in the next one peace out